And here at home is your local election headquarters. Mayoral candidate for Salt Lake City, Luz Escamilla, has officially conceded tonight. A look at the latest numbers in the ratio. Aaron Mendenhall leading by nearly 6,000 votes. So what's the next step for Salt Lake City? ABC 4's Jason Wynn investigating that angle and joining us live from Salt Lake City Hall. So Jason, as a Salt Lake City Council member, Aaron Mendenhall obviously has to resign from the City Council first. When does that happen? Good evening, Emily. That can happen anytime between November 19th and the beginning of the year. But first, those votes for Aaron Mendenhall need to be approved by city officials. Feeling good. It's a good day. Aaron Mendenhall is expected to be the 36th mayor to take over Utah's capital city. I'm happy with this direction, um, and I like Aaron's stance on a number of things. Several residents we spoke to were happy Luz Escamilla and Mendenhall ran a cordial race. Either way, we would have had a great mayor. On Tuesday afternoon, Escamilla conceded the race, stating, I just congratulated Aaron. We had a good conversation, and I wish her the best of luck as our city's next mayor. Right, it's good sportsmanship, I guess, and that's kind of the vibe I got from the concession. Is it seemed like good sportsmanship? Salt Lake City's board of canvas will need to accept the residents' votes on the 19th at five that night. The board is comprised of the mayor and council members. According to the city's website, Mendenhall doesn't have to recuse herself from the vote. Afterwards, the mayor-elect will need to make a decision on when she will resign. At that point, there will be a 30-day window for council and the city clerk to do interviews and appoint a new District 5 representative. I'm glad that glad here we have a direction. Salt Lake City residents say they are eager to see what Mendenhall will do for air quality, the homeless problem, and the inland port. I think it's going to be tough. I, I don't think we expect it to be a cakewalk. Here's what's happening next. Aaron Mendenhall is expected to be right back here at City Hall for a press conference at 10 o'clock where she'll talk about being the mayor elect and possibly her transition. Luz Escamilla, she's going to hold a press conference too. That's actually going to be tomorrow afternoon. I'm Jason Wynn, live in downtown Salt Lake City, ABC 4 News.